Try to do that. I'll do it in orange. So I said, here's what I said, I have one aluminum here and I have two aluminums there. So maybe a simple thing is just to put a two out here. So now I have two aluminums on this side and I have two aluminums on this side. The aluminums look happy. Now let's look at the other. Why he 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 does he does in that way? It is because that you see on that side here we have two atoms here, so he has to put two here just to balance aluminium. You understand that? Mm -hmm. It's why you see you see in that in that side. Okay, I have two atoms here, so I must have the two atoms in this side. Oxygens on the left hand side of the equation. And on the right-hand side of the equation, I have three oxygens. What can I do here? Well, if, if, if I could kind of have half atoms, I could just multiply this by one and a half. 1.5. 1 1.5 times 2 is 3. So now I have three oxygens on both sides of this equation, and I have two aluminums on both sides of the equation. Am I done? Well, no, you can't have half an atom or one and a half. Actually, if you want to see that for large mathematics, it is okay now. 1.5 times 2 is 3, fine. 2 here, 2 here, that's okay. But you can't have 1.5 atom. You see that? So it's because now he, he, he will do something here, you see here. Half of an atom, that's, that's not cool. So what you do is you just multiply this so that you end up with whole numbers. So let's just multiply both sides of this whole equation by 2. And we have... Four aluminums. You change the color. Yes. Four aluminums plus three oxygens yields. We multiplied everything by two. Two molecules of aluminum oxide. Now, you might have been tempted at some point in this exercise to say, oh, well, why don't I just tweak part of the aluminum oxide? Why don't I put a two-thirds in front of this oxygen? You cannot do that. The, the equation is as it is. The molecule aluminum oxide is aluminum oxide. You can't change the, the relative ratios of the aluminum and the oxygen within the aluminum oxide molecule. You can just change the number of aluminum oxide molecules as a whole that you have, in this case, two. So what did we do? We looked at the aluminum. We said, OK, we need two aluminums to have both sides of that be two. And then when we looked at oxygen, we said, well, if I multiply this by one and a half, then that becomes three oxygens here, because one and a half times two oxygens and three oxygens there. And then all we said is, oh, well, I can't have a one and a half there, so let me multiply both sides by two. And I ended up with four aluminums plus three oxygen molecules, or six oxygen atoms, yields two molecules of aluminum oxide. Let's see if we can do some more of these. 